Hi friends, Matt Noyce, One Degree Outside Weather Network, OneDegreeOutside.com to find all of our videos. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please do be sure that you like and subscribe. All right, meanwhile, here's what's going on for the monthly forecast in the month of August, first weekday of the month. I love to give you an overview on what's happening. So Danielle and I are looking at the pattern and we're saying, look, within the next few days, and this is being recorded on the first day of the month, but within the next few days, we're going to see a change in the jet stream pattern that's probably going to stick through most of the month, certainly through the first half of the month. And that pattern is to maintain the heat dome across the south central United States, but bring the westerlies down across the northern tier of the country. These westerlies, the jet stream winds, are going to tend to give what we call a mean trough position, at least a broad trough to the northeastern United States. Remember, the jet stream is the fast river of air high in the sky that steers storm systems along and separates cool air to the north from heat to the south. So the heat will continue across the nation's midsection, across much of the southern United States, but in the Northeast, here at home in New England, and frankly through the northern tier of the country, will be more vulnerable to jet stream disturbances that come and go. That increases the chance of more frequent showers and thunderstorms, and that means that you don't get into the long-lasting type of heat and the real kind of entrenched humidity that we became accustomed to over the latter part of June into July, for that matter. So... When you look at the temperature forecast for the month of August, the way we see it, almost the whole country is warmer than normal. We do not have New England warmer than normal. We have it near normal in New England because of those incursions of cooler air that come with the cold fronts as the jet stream disturbances drop into that trough position. Now, having said that, it doesn't take much to nudge this above normal. It's possible if we are in error, we're going to be in error by going just a little bit too cool and you're going to end up slightly above normal. But we think you probably come up very close to the normal high and low temperatures for August that you see here. In terms of precipitation, it looks almost exactly like you would expect it to, where if the jet stream steers our storms and disturbances, you should see a number of thunderstorms and showers firing up along the northern tier of the United States. We think that'll be the case. There is an extra component here when you get into this trough position, it does at least open the door to some coastal systems. It also, frankly, means that as we get into later August, the latter half of the month and into September, we have to watch the tropics very, very carefully. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you have a big dome of high pressure over the ocean, which we will, in fact, that's been near record strength at times over the course of this summer, and you've got a big dome of high pressure that's over the nation's midsection and coming into the south central and sometimes southeast United States, You've got a weakness that develops along the eastern seaboard, and that can serve sometimes as a weakness that tropical systems will exploit, and it becomes a chance for them to curl northward. So I think second half of August and then into September, we're going to have to watch it very carefully. And just so you know, that kind of goes with the territory with this kind of a pattern. We do have above average precipitation in our forecast for a lot of New England just because of the abundance of showers and storms that will be popping up along the way. That's the way things look for now. Of course, we'll give you the updates both through pattern predictions. Every Monday, we look out to the next two weeks to show you what's behind that 14-day forecast. And as we go through it, if you want to get that 14-day forecast for your neighborhood, for your exact location, Download our app, Noises One Degree Outside, whether on the App Store and Google Play. This has been your look at August from One Degree Outside.